a hydroelectric power station use GPE or water to generate electrical energy? Oh, that's that's interesting. So water flowing from very high place has GPE. The energy is converted to electrical energy. That's how we get electricity for some countries. In one station, the mass of water flowing by per unit time is this amount. Look at this unit here. Kg per second. That tells me that this is kind of a, a, a what do you call it? Change in mass over change in time. Per second, so change in mass over time. So this is a Mm, keep that in mind. Might be useful. The water falls through a vertical height of 120 meters. So it's some kind of change in height. Electrical power generated is 100 megawatt. What is the efficiency of the sys the power station? Imagine this lah. Your water is flowing at a very high place. Then suddenly it will come down. And down there, what is waiting for it is a turbine. Um, is this how I draw a turbine? It's going to turn now, okay? It will turn. The water will turn the turbine. And from there, bzzz, create electricity. Some current stuff flowing. Okay, that's how the energy conversion is happening here for a hydroelectric dam. Water flow. So how do you find efficiency? Okay, what's efficiency? You need to work backwards a bit. Efficiency, you need to find the power input and the power output. What's going in? What's coming out? Think of this system like this. This is your 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 hydro hydroelectric system. You send in some gravitational potential energy. What comes out is some electrical energy. So the efficiency is a general efficiency of the whole system. And what you could do is take the power output, divide by, oh sorry, efficiency. Where do I write it up here? Ah, up here lah. Efficiency here will, will be your output, how much actually come out, and how much actually went in to your system. So this power in. If you want it in terms of percentage, looks like they want percentage, you get the final answer next to me here. So we will times 100 to get a percentage. Now let's find what is the output, what is the input. So output is the electrical power generated or oh, very good they give us value so this is a hundred mega watt okay input how do we find that what's the change in hmm let's go to the water a little bit so on the water side when you want to find power that's really a change in energy over time or oh, change in time now okay What's the change in energy happening here? Change in gravitational potential energy. Convert to a change in electrical energy. So you think of change in water flow from very high up, drop down. Okay, so this is a change in height. So that will be MGH. Ah, delta MGH. Here over delta T. But wait, didn't we just say there's a kg per second and that's our m over t i think we see that pattern here m over t mm, okay so here will be the the flow rate of water how many kg of water per second times g and times height change in height okay so let's plug in all the values now so here will give us 1.5 times 10 to the 5 kg per second times 9.81 times 120 meters okay press 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 all the values um i guess you could plug it all inside here at one go lah. here sure let me do that for you so output we have a hundred times 10 to the 6 divided by input from gpe this will be 1.5 times 10 to the 5 times 9.81 and 120 we want percentage right so we multiply 100 this will give us about 56 i think i calculated just now 56.63 blah 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 percent best choice 57 so 57 here will be the best answer we can choose for the conversion of energy from this dam okay so if it helps draw a diagram just draw there's space for you Hydro conversion got certain efficiency. If you're wondering, miss, then where the energy go? I don't know lah. Some energy lost. 
Sure got energy loss in conversion one. Maybe your, your system got friction, maybe it gets hot, maybe it got sound, something drop off, I don't know. Okay, so that's where efficiency comes into play. This output is always smaller than what you can send in. You lose some. Right, so that's all for this video. I will see you in the next question.